Hey, I want to talk to you about our mastery modules and how we created it for our website, okay? I'm not here to sell you anything at all, um, but if you go over to our website, websquadron.co.uk, and go to mastery modules, what you'll see is this page. Now, the idea behind it is that each one of these links into a product. So business planning over here, <clears throat> marketing planning and things like that. If I was to go and click on to say this one here, it takes you to a single product page. So this is now WooCommerce that you're looking at. This is WooCommerce. Yeah, you, you can't miss it. It's an elemental template. But if we go back, do you notice that down here we also have access the module? Because loads of these are virtual products. However, they're not downloadable products. Here's the reason why. If I create a downloadable product, and when I go and change it over time, there might be an issue whereby someone has purchased a product and downloaded it, and they might not realize that there's been some changes or new information added. The idea with what we're doing here is that once you've purchased any one of these products, when you return back to this page, obviously after logging in, when you click access the module, it will take you through to a page where you can now see all the details. Now, right now, you're not seeing that. It says you must be logged in. Not only must you be logged in, but you must have purchased a product as well. So what we've done is we have secured or restricted access to these modules until you pay for it. And the way we've done that is so, so simple. It's a little bit mind blowing. And what it could do is open up the opportunity for you. Let's say you have a client or maybe you want to sell access to webinars. Maybe you're a yoga teacher and you're going to have access to live streaming videos. Or maybe it's like a membership website. So you don't have to use LMS plugins or tools. You could say that you've got to purchase a course or a product, okay? And then when they go to that page, they will now have all of the um, uh, course information, videos, quizzes, whatever you want. It won't work completely like an LMS where they have a certificate or something, but you could still put one at the bottom, right? And then they download it and add their name to it or something like that. So this opens up the possibilities for membership websites. Now, let me make clear, there is no membership plugin, number one. There is no LMS plugin. And what I'm using is completely free. Let's log in and have a look. So let me make clear, we are using WooCommerce for the products. This is simply what you already know. Okay, there's nothing fancy going on here. You set your price, your sale price, or however you're going to set it up. You make sure you've got a description in there and an image. But these are just products. WooCommerce, nothing else fancy. What we then used was an additional plugin called Page Restrict for WooCommerce. This is free. It was updated five days ago at the time of recording. Um, it's not. It's only had about 100 or so um, people using it. It's not a massively well-known plugin. But I've used it on two of our client websites and we've used it on our own and it works, okay? It works really, really well. What you do is you've got to install this and what that will then do is give you an option down here called Page Restrict. Now, whenever you create a, um, a new page, basically, in your website, when you go over here to Pages, it will be added over here to Page Restrict. So this is now going to show me all of my pages that we have on the website. But here's the really funky thing. For every page, so I've got one here called Module Create a One Page Website. It's one of our products that we have over here. Okay. I can then pick how it is locked. This is a bit of a ridiculous example, but it will you'll, it should sink in. We've got my privacy policy page, right? It's just a page. If I go over here now and I say you must have purchased the website checklist product, you can't access that page unless you have purchased that product, website checklist. You'll get the message saying you must log in. I could even say that actually you, it doesn't matter which product. So maybe you've got to purchase two products. Maybe it's like a super members page or something. Or maybe I say not all of them are required. So all you've got to do is purchase at least one of them and you might have access to a super page which has loads of other content and things like that. Um, you can also um, push them elsewhere. So if you try and access it, at the moment, what will happen is you'll just get told, no, you must log in. You might want to create a separate page, like a redirect page. So you go, right, you must, let me just pick this one here. You must go there. Well, sorry, you try and access and it's going to take you to this page because you haven't purchased it yet. So let me just get rid of all of this because I don't want this to be visible on my um, privacy policy page. But that is how simple and easy it is. So for all of my um, nine products, 
three of them um, are for like consultation calls and things. So there is no module page. You just pay for it. And then we arrange the time and venue and well, not time and call, but six of the nine, they are module pages. So here you go. The five day challenge one, which is the module five day challenge. You got to purchase that the module for business planning. You got to purchase that. And away we go. This was a free plugin. And then all I've done is created the products. Now, of course, I have done a bit more than that. Let me just show you the actual module page. This is a standard Elementor page, you know, titles and whatever. Over here, I just, well, these are just columns with like an image that you put in. I've got some text. The great thing is I can cr make this look as snazzy or filled out or compounded as I want. I can do what I want with it. I could add logos in, icons into it. I'm not now restricted by the, you know, like the products grid or the archives grid and all of that, or even an, an additional plugin. So this is giving me the power to show things how I want. I could have made the boxes like masonry style, anything I want. Down here, we have a button. This button, if I just extend it, is now going to, you can see their product business planning. That will go to the single product. The minute you put product in and you put the URL in, and if you don't know your URL, just go to your products, okay, and view the product and you'll get the URL. But that will now go to that particular product. And down here, I have another button and this now is the module. So this now is a button to the actual module page, which you can't access unless you've purchased a product. This is how simple and easy it is. Now, there is one other thing I will mention, though. If you are doing virtual products like this, if ever you buy anything on um, uh, WooCommerce, sometimes you can't access the module until the order is complete, which can be a bit of a problem because someone might have purchased something in the middle of the night it's gone through, they've paid, but they can't access the module until you have completed the order. Does that make sense? Now, there is a really quick, easy way you can sort that out as well. If you're using the plugin Code Snippets, which you can get for free, and it's a super amazing plugin, okay, I will put a link in the description, by the way. We have a snippet which is called Autocomplete WooCommerce. Let me just edit that. What this does is this, okay, auto completes your WooCommerce for you. So the minute someone has paid, it will then automatically become complete if it is a virtual product. Make sure that when you are doing your products, you tick the virtual box, okay? This will now auto complete them. Um, therefore, they can now access the module. But not just that, another little tip I wanna share with you is WooCommerce checkout. Because if you are asking someone to participate in a virtual product, or they're buying a course, why do you need their address details? You probably don't. So what I've done over here is I am unsetting all of these fields. And again, I'll put a link to that short code in the, not short code, but the code snippet in the YouTube description as well. So all this is gonna do is ask for the email, the username and their password and stuff like that. Um, oh, and the first name and the last name, but I don't need to know about the country or where they live. That's kind of irrelevant because I want to make it as quick and easy to convert. You know, okay, you want to purchase this item. Here you go, you purchase it and away you go. But the point of this video was, how did we go about getting this all created? This is just columns, lovely, nice setup. I mean, I can rearrange these items however I want. And that's the beauty about designing it this way. So I'm not restricted to the product grid. But remember, this goes to the single product. So you can now purchase it. This button, however, goes to the actual module page and you've restricted access with this plugin. So you've got to buy a product. So if you're selling 10 courses, maybe like I said, you're a yoga teacher, a piano teacher or someone. You might have three or four pages where one page is just videos, another page is live streaming, another page is loads of other info and stuff you're going to share with the users on a regular basis. This is a great, easy way to do it. And it was free to set up without any LMS, without any page. Pay. Normally, I use Paid Membership Pro, which is a really good plugin, but I didn't even have to use that for this. So you know, WooCommerce, you can set up your gateways, you can set up your subscription level or one-off payment. And away you go, hey, I hope you like, subscribe, 
share and follow. I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron, and I hope to see you on our mastery modules. Take care. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win at life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pen.